My name is Radua Ali and I am the director of the Roxbury Public Library. Um, I have been here in Roxbury since 2017 um, and a little bit about my background. Uh, I actually started working in public libraries uh, when I was 14 years old as a volunteer. Um, I began shelving uh, and then uh, my local, my hometown library hired me to shelve uh, and then um, I think I did such a good job that they uh, put me at the circulation desk and I, you know, over the next few years I ended up working um, the front desk, children's desk, um, and did a whole bunch of different things uh, before uh, finishing college and then um, going into grad school for library science. Um, so uh, I love my career, I love my job, um, and I really believe in what I do, so I'm, I'm very fortunate in that sense. Um, and I will say that Libraries are very meaningful for me because uh, as a child, um, the library was always a haven. Um, I was actually an immigrant uh, and spoke no English when we first moved to this country. I was seven years old when we came to America and uh, we didn't have a lot of money, um, but the library was always there for me. Uh, so, you know, it didn't matter that, you know, I didn't, I never owned a book as a child um, and you know, I had to really learn English the hard way, uh, but I did, and uh, the library was always always there for me. Um, so I, I really credit the public library for that. You know, the simplest definition of community is a bunch of people that have something in common. Uh, the most basic attribute of that in Roxbury is that you know we all have a connection to Roxbury, and that we all care about Roxbury. Now, people create. All manner of communities um, you know there's the church community there's the uh, high school band parent community right and they're as varied and as diverse as the people and the passions that fuel them uh, so the public library is in a really interesting position because it's our job to serve everyone a good library has something in it for everyone we need to tap into as many communities as possible and make the library accessible to those people. So as far as pressing needs, there's a lot. <laughs> um, you know, there's a lot happening in the world. Um, I think what we really need right now, you know, and of course we all, you know, we all could use lower gas prices, of course, <laughs> um, you know, but beyond that, I think what we really need right now is, is empathy. Um, you know, we need to be a little bit more understanding of each other, um, differences in people, different ideas. Um, you know, you watch or read the news, even just reading the comments on local articles. It can be exhausting and it can be very disheartening um, because so often it seems like we've forgotten what it's like to walk a mile in someone else's shoes. Um, we get so bogged down in what I think and what I want and what you know it's like for me and, and I want this and I want this and this should be it and you can't do that and it has to be this. Um, you know, we get really bogged down with that and it's like we forget that other people have a right to think what they want to think um, and that other people have a right to exist. Um, you know, and that, you know, that, that, that can be very difficult. Um, just living in the times that we live in now. We thrive on differences. We thrive on diverse points of view and diverse ideas. Um, and of course, diverse collections. We try to be a safe and welcoming place. Um, 
we will welcome you regardless of who you are. The public library welcomes you regardless of your net worth, okay? We welcome you no matter what religion you practice, if even any. Um, whether you're two or 102, whether you're disabled, a single parent or a family of 10, whether you're straight or gay, whether you're a daughter of the American Revolution or a first generation immigrant like me. Um, everyone is welcome in the public library. Uh, obviously, we do have some rules. Uh, you have to wear a shirt <laughs> for one. Um, most importantly, we just ask that you be kind. I think we can all follow that. I think no matter who you are, no matter what your politics are, no matter, no matter what, I think we can all agree that being kind is important. Um, it's the golden rule, right? Love thy neighbor as thyself. Respect everyone's right to read. Respect everyone's right to exist. Our doors are open seven days a week and we welcome everyone in Roxbury because the library belongs to you. It belongs to all of you. <laughs>